Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to go over contact forms in BigCommerce. And before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run an e-commerce uh, online group for, for store owners just like you and me. I'll leave a link at the end, uh, but let me share my screen and let's jump in. Okay, so we're trying to we're trying to set up a contact form on our big commerce store. There is a form system built in, and the way to get this set up is you go to storefront and then web pages, and then create a page like this contact us. You can see it says contact form page type. I'm just gonna create a new one though, just so you guys can see. New form, not from form. Ah, spelling's hard. Okay, this page will, and by default it says, contain content created using the WYSIWYG editor below. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to allow people to send questions slash comments via a contact form. Now, when you do this, you still have full use of the WYSIWYG, right? But down here, it says show these fields. And it didn't say this until we selected contact form. Now, once it says show these fields, you can tick on the form fields that you want to show. Now, everyone's next question is invariably, I don't want to show RMA number, I want to show this other question. Okay, well, BigCommerce limits you to these technically, I think, eight fields, because I think that there's a field that's not got a name. I think it's, uh, hmm, I could be wrong. Seven or eight fields, let's say. Let's go with that, right? Whatever it is, you have these pre-made fields, and say you want to ask another question. It, well, first of all, you know, name, company name, phone number, order number, RMA field, RMA number. It's important to know these are all text fields, right? Um, and you can add spam right here, spam protection. So this adds a CAPTCHA. Now, if you want to have a different question, what you can do is you can leave one of these questions you don't need on here, like company name, for example, and you can have a developer change um, the label on that field so that it says something else, but you're basically reusing this company name field in order to stay within the bounds of the form that they give you for free. So if you're getting close with the contact form, if you want like full name, email address, phone number, order number, and shoe size, okay, see a developer, they'll relabel con company name to shoe size and now you have your form and it didn't cost anything else and it's built in and that's really, really nice. Uh, and then you just click save, save and exit or save and add another when you're done and it'll show, let me just go ahead and do it actually. So a new form is our URL. I'm gonna just open the front end here and go to that page. And you can see both, here's my WYSIWYG crazy content, crazy content content yeah I said that right as well as our form right so it is what it is it looks how it looks you can style it a little bit differently if you want like I said you can rename some of these fields if needed but there's limitations right you only have a certain number of fields uh, and that's it if you need something beyond this if relabeling uh, the RMA field for example and the company field doesn't get you to where you need to be you can still have a form, you just need to use an external form system. And um, a couple of them that you may want to consider, Power Forms has an app that connects in BigCommerce. Their form system is reasonably nice. Jot Forms uh, is very flexible. It is an external system, so you'd need a developer to embed it in a page for you, but you can do all kinds of things. And Jot Forms will connect to Zapier, which is really nice if you need to power some automations. I really like a a uh, system called Form Spree that's really, really open as to what you can do with it. And uh, let's see, Power Form Spree. Oh, and uh, Type Form is another one that people like quite a bit. So between those four, those should give you plenty to, to kind of look through and see what's right for you if you need something beyond what BigCommerce's native form can do. It's nice that they give us a form. It's nice that we can kind of bend the rules a little bit, but uh, if you need to go you know, way farther, one of those four companies is probably a, a good bet for you. All right, I hope that helps. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are struggling with or if this did help you. 
I really appreciate you guys being here. If you're interested in our community, check out e-commerce amplifiers. And if you need a dev, hit me up at epicdesignlabs.com. See you on the next one.